China Daily, 22nd of September 2023, China is trying desperately to increase BRI agricultural exchanges. China is desperately searching for markets along the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, to help with food shortages since it does not grow enough food to sustain its population. Within the Belt and Road Initiative context, China is looking to deepen commercial and agricultural exchanges with its partners. According to a senior official, the initiative aims to promote sustainable development and stabilize the world's food supply. Ten years have passed since Chinese President Xi Jinping proposed the idea this year. Vice Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs Ma Yuzhang stated that the nation is open to cooperating with BRI members to jointly establish itself as a center for global food security and a showcase for sustainable development. Thursday at the Beijing Belt and Road Agricultural Cooperation and Development Forum, he stated, We're happy to work with BRI partners, learn about and respect each other's needs and work hard to advance food-related cooperation. Speaking at the event's opening ceremony, Ma discussed the benefits both parties have reaped from their partnerships since 2013, a time marked by difficulties due to extreme weather, pandemic-related disruptions, and geopolitical headwinds. He claimed several nations have conquered these challenges, experienced bountiful harvests, and reduced poverty through BRI initiatives. The programs assisted in lessening the pressure that unstable global food prices and supply chain issues may have otherwise placed on these nations. According to Ma, China has established partnerships with over 90 nations and international organizations in the last 10 years and launched over 650 investment projects, totaling over $14 billion. During that period, China's food commerce with BRI members increased at an annual rate of 9.9%, reaching nearly $139 billion. More fruit and vegetables grown in Chinese-owned farms growing Chinese veggies from China are being served on dining tables in those countries as a result of wheat from Kazakhstan, sesame seeds from Tanzania, and honey from Zambia finding their way into China's ultra-large market he said. Agricultural expertise has advanced significantly in numerous nations in the last 10 years. China dispatched more than 2,000 agrarian professionals to more than 70 countries to impart growing knowledge for fungus, hybrid rice, and other crops. Over a million farmers have benefited indirectly from the training that over 100,000 farmers have received. According to Ma, China favors more convenient and accessible trade conditions and is prepared to increase its imports of high-quality food items over the next 10 years. He also mentioned China's intentions to support the development of high-tech agricultural demonstration zones and international food industrial parks and advanced smart farming and extreme weather-resistant technology. Fu Wanjin, president of the Agricultural Bank of China and one of the forum organizers, stated during his speech at the event that his bank has opened offices abroad in nations like Singapore, Vietnam, the United Arab Emirates, Russia, and Tajikistan to facilitate financial services that support agricultural collaborations under the BRI framework. He said that since the beginning of the year, the bank has handled almost $84 billion in food commerce. At the forum, Representatives of developing nations expressed a wish for increased investments in the food sector, particularly from technologically sophisticated countries like China. At least one-sixth of all plant species on Earth are found on the African continent, including many food crops with African origins, including wheat, barley, millet, sorghum, teff, coffee, cowpea, and oil palm. Rayam Daya Mohamed Osman, the permanent representative of the African Union to China, stated at the forum that Africa accounts for 65% of the world's remaining uncultivated arable land. What is meant by this? According to him, this indicates that by 2050, we could feed 9 billion people worldwide, much more than the current number. By 2030, he continued, 
Africa's yearly agricultural output would double from $280 billion to $1 trillion as new investments remove obstacles to agricultural development. Compared to Africa's other development partners, China may be able to provide the vast technological, technical, and policy skills needed for many agricultural projects more readily. This is especially true given China's track record of success in reducing rural poverty and its familiarity with smallholder farming. An additional potential market for African agricultural products is China.